Listen, guys, if you want to win, don't be this guy. Don't don't be this guy. Circle coming in, and then he takes a shot at me, right? He takes a shot at me, and then he decides to shoot. Before we get into the vehicle, I take a shot at him, and then the play zone kills him. That's game over. Yo, what's going on, guys? Ezum here, and today we are going to go over this match that I uh, received great freaking placement on, and I won with no kills. Yeah, um, listen, I did damage, okay? It's not like I freaking just ran around and, and hid from everyone and proned out in the in the well, the wilderness, okay? I, I did some, I did my due diligence, but sadly the play zone handed me this game. Before I get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub. All right, we're starting out in the plane. I'm gonna see where I'm gonna go. Typically, like I said, it's gonna be somewhere pretty far away, or, or not far away, but a decent ways away from uh, from people. So I'm sitting here gonna just take my time, plan it out. If I need to take a vehicle when I go down, I'm gonna take a vehicle when I go down. As you can tell, I'm using the replay system to play back everything instead of uh, voicing over my other uh, video, but. I found that this way to be easier. That way I can tell you um, what someone's doing wrong, what I'm doing wrong, and you know, just kind of like bounce the camera around. It doesn't do well with, uh, it seems like uh, uh, skydiving, but right now uh, I think it's just camera position. But as you see, I found a little compound here going down, gonna start looting. You know, like always, like always, I, I try to find a gun and armor first. Typically, armor first and then a gun. But if I find whatever I can find at the beginning, I'll take it. Um, you know, pistols. Don't ever skip a weapon. If it's if it's a weapon in front of you, always take it. Because I have won games with a pistol. And uh, the reason how I won the game is because I, I shot, I shot, I shot. And then all of a sudden, I ran out of uh, bullets. So I was like, pistol. Boom. So I always want to, you know, I mean, it's up to you, but typically I'll, I'll always carry a pistol if I can find one. Um, sometimes I do uh, pass them up, but I mean, it's it's kind of important to, you know, keep them at least. Especially when you're in a vehicle, um, people can, you can use your gun, your pistol in a vehicle as the driver. Also make sure you get uh, plenty of smokes, maybe a little, the little smoke grenade gun. When I find that grenade, that smoke launcher... I don't uh, carry smokes depending on how many smokes I have because, dude, that's that's so much weight. It is so much weight, but right now I have the M249 and Car 98. I have a grenade, and uh, yeah, I'm going to make do with all this, uh, what I have, and no optics. So I'm going to have to go look for optics because I've... Maybe I can shoot with the M249 without optics, but I sure as hell can't do it. With, I mean, I would love Car 98 iron sights, but... You know, if I can, if I can find me a little juicy optic, I'll, I'll uh, most definitely use it. But it looks like I'll have plenty of meds to to go on down and get dirty with myself. And it seems like it is a Pollyanna Stauber and uh, Kaminsky Kaminsky the uh, ending. So I love that. Okay, so as you all know, I love like certain uh, endings that end like on the edges of the zone right yeah uh, that's i don't know why i love them so much it's probably because i um they're on the edge but i mean this one could get smaller though it could be a stall branding and go over to the the lake over here it can go towards Severny and go up here in uh where kaminsky's at or it can go to Pollyanna or the fields here which i have had the endings in this field and uh <laughs> I think, is it this field that uh, didn't have that many, I think it was this field that didn't have as many uh, hay bales and stuff in it before. It was either that one or, or no, that, it can't be that one. Oh my God, look at the hay bales. But back in the day, dude, uh, I think this one was the one of the worst endings you could possibly have. So now I'm sitting here venturing out, looking for a vehicle, but I think I did spot a vehicle as I was uh, diving down. It is important that you when you dive down you look around the roads mark a vehicle if you can and i normally i normally mark a vehicle or mark if i haven't marked where someone has landed i'll most definitely remember where a vehicle is at because you never know when the circle is gonna be pretty far and when that circle comes in it's moving in right now you just never know like well am i gonna make it or what so you just need to height loot up hightail it look find a vehicle you can find a vehicle in time and then you pass the compound then that's fine. You can loot up some more before the circle comes in. But uh, just always remember, pos uh, 
vehicle positioning. So right now, right now it seems like we're passing up someone as probably a bot. You know, it's not really moving, just sitting there. Right now I'm kind of uh, baiting shots. Uh, see if anyone wants to shoot at me. If someone wants to shoot at me, I'll most definitely stop and shoot at them back if I have a really nice uh, advantage on them. But I don't think, yeah, there's no one really anywhere. And I tell you what, this game, I think, I think it was this game, the U.S. always wanted to turn left. Like, always, always wants to flip on its side. And that, that was annoying. <laughs> that was most definitely annoying. So I went around this side to the right and I didn't realize there was a person right here. Dude, I didn't even see him at all when I played this game. Wow. Now, now that I see him at the moment, I, I did not, I did not at, at all see him. And then he runs to the compound. I, I did stop and I was going to try to get a pick off of him, but the dude shot at me and ran into the compound. Wow. That's. Bro, if you're going to shoot at someone, at least, you know, have the balls to finish that job. He's not even pointing toward me. Oh, oh, he's not even pointing at me at all. He's he's literally looting. I can tell his uh, movement. He's, he's literally looting. I don't know. In the game, I don't know what he's doing, so I'm going to smoke my vehicle out. This is a good uh, way to block your view from uh, from people shooting at you. But here's the thing. If you throw a smoke and someone already has the vehicle in their sights and they know where the driver's seat is, they could easily, as soon as you pop a smoke, they could easily shoot. They don't know if you're in there or not, but they could shoot and they could probably take you out. So just be careful. Uh, probably want to uh, at least get in like the fourth, uh, the third or fourth seat. If, uh, you know, depending on how many seats you have that way, you know, you could trick them, make sure that, Hey, Hey, I got in, but I'm not in the driver's seat yet. So that's also a good, uh, strategic way to, to not get one tapped <laughs> in a vehicle when you uh, need to leave somewhere. Now I didn't, uh, the reason why I didn't bother with that fight back there was because he ended up going in the buildings and as we all know, pushing buildings, uh, clearing them out, it's probably not the best and easy way to go about things because, uh, you know, you want to survive. It's all about surviving. It's not about going in and risking your, your survival just because someone shot at you and they decided to go and run into buildings and, uh, loot instead of, uh, going where there's like four or five buildings, I decided to, you know, take the L on that, on that kill and just venture out. Now, right now, I, I think I'm going toward the the end here. Uh, I think I'm I marked up here. I remember marking up here, and the reason why I marked up here is because I like to I like to get on the edges of the the zone. And now, depending on where the zone goes, um, I'll uh, I'll be hitting some uh, some other compound. But if it's if it's leaning towards Pagliata, like when it gets smaller, like there's my vehicle like turning. Bro, I'm never going to drive the U.S. again unless it's my only vehicle, I swear. This thing likes to... It's top-heavy. It is so top-heavy. But anyway, if it's Pollyanna, um, and it circles like this... Now, there's, uh, there's one of two ways that I predicted this, and I predicted it like this. So, I went up here. I stayed... I think uh, I stayed right, right around here and uh, I waited for the circle to, to come out to play and... When the circle got smaller, I predicted that the circle was going to go right here. Or at least that would be a really good spot to, to you know, hang out while the circle gets smaller. Because uh, that's normally how it, how it went back in the day. Um, I mean, every circle is different. You don't know, but you just, pr you know, you can predict. Right? I predicted it pretty damn well. And uh, I, was, I think I was going to go in this compound, but I was like, hmm it's up a hill and there's really tall buildings so i decided to take the l on that one and just uh just chill out over here at the beach for a bit and then uh then move on now like like i said you don't really it, you play how you want i play to survive if like i said if there's someone that wants to fight i will fight them but uh, you know survivability wise if i'm not going to fight them if it's uh m more of a disadvantage for me now, right now, I, uh, I'm, you know, taking, taking cover behind a bunker, scoping out, trying to wonder if uh, anyone's on here doing the same thing. But I think I put the, the U.S. in a position where I can't really move as much. <laughs> and I've had iron sights on my M249 for the longest time now. 
<laughs> I swear. And uh, it looks like that glider is a spawn, which I didn't know was a spawn at first because I thought someone just literally landed it there and just, you know, hung out until the circle gets smaller. But I think normally people would be in that flying while the circle's as big as it is right now because uh, uh, otherwise you wouldn't be able to fly that around. But so many people died to the play zone. That's cool. All the bots. Hopefully they're bots, you know. Otherwise, <laughs> I hate to see their gameplay. So with the circle pushing up and pushing in, I have to predict my next move. And my next move will be going up to this bunker right here. You might think, oh, Ezem, you're playing like you're playing like a little bitch. Go out there and fight. Well, listen, battle royale is not about always getting into fights. It's about survivability. And if you cannot survive, if you want to win and you cannot survive because you're kill hungry, you might as well just go play COD where you can go get all the kills you want. And PUBG, I mean, you can get a lot of kills in PUBG, of course, and then win a game. Yeah, sure. But you're also putting yourself at risk to dying early in the games and stuff. But like, I listen, I have a lot of wins. Uh, I think over 1,200 wins. And there's a reason for that, right? There is an absolute reason for that. Now... Like I said, I'm going to be going up to here to this little uh, bunker area and I'm going to chill out for a bit. Uh, I'm just making sure that I'm clear from behind and I'm really skeptical about this place because, you know, it's a good place to bunker down. And uh, yeah, that was a bad pun. But it, no, it's a it seems like a decent place, but I didn't like it because for one, I had to like jump up and use the jump or the climb animation because, uh, yeah, I don't like doing that, especially when I can get freaking owned if someone was above me or something and I couldn't do anything about it because I was doing an animation now as you see we're in phase three circles about to close I am uh, most definitely looking all the way around but no one is around me nobody is around me so I play this very well I played it to the point where I was literally all the way down the bottom left of the the map all the way up to the top right I went around everybody you know, stopped, tried to get a pick, didn't work out, so I just kept moving. And I'm, I'm assuming majority of these people who are already down here were maybe up there, but I don't, it seems like nobody even landed up here. If they did, they died pretty fast. So right now I'm just uh, running up, making sure, I'm looking everywhere, making sure uh, no one's gonna one tap me because I barely have cover using the tree lines at the moment. The tower, yes, the infamous tower. I'm looking at that. Making sure that no one's going to most definitely own me from it. Now, this is the part where it gets a little juicy. There's no cover besides the little things here and there. And there's a compound right there. Someone could easily be in that and just take me out. And I, well, I have a rock. That's fine for that. But on the way up to the rock, I didn't have anything. Now, as you see, there is a guy in that building over there, but I don't know that. So, uh, yeah, he could easily, he could most definitely have taken me out or at least, well, no, he could have had shots on me i'm wondering if he actually would no he wasn't looking at me at all no nah, i think he, he i think he gets in a vehicle or something maybe if, if he doesn't i'd be surprised i'm surprised we didn't even cross paths uh because we we're really close to each other oh yeah he does get in a vehicle okay so yeah he gets in a vehicle he, he's not worried i think he's worried more about placement like i am than uh getting into confrontation but like I said, if if I was him and I saw me running across there, I would have taken the shots. No, ha hands down. I mean, the circle was like a minute over what, uh, over a minute from in closing. I mean, uh, there comes a time and a place where you're going to shoot when the circle's coming in. Now, I did originally mark this little shack right here in the game. So that, I was a, that was a good call on my part. I was going to go and take it out. But it seems like... Uh, I don't know if anyone's in there, so I'm really, really skeptical about going up there and uh, and trying to take it out. But I don't see any movement for a long time, but there's only two windows, and I can barely see them. So I don't know if anyone's in there or not. But I have to move. Circle's coming in. Luckily, I have a jammer backpack. You can take advantage of that real easily, which I, I don't really deal with that much because, I mean, I'm literally right there. So I, I, I most definitely know there's got to be someone up there. That's probably one of the most, the best advantage you could have is right up there looking over Pollyanna and all the people fighting. 100% the good advantage up there. But um, 
I don't know if anyone's up there or not, but I assume someone's going to be up there because there's always someone up there, right? There's always someone up there. But I, right now, I'm uh, going to the slow end of the circle, getting positioned before, while everyone else is fighting. I'm hearing shots. I'm moving up in the circle. I absolutely forgot that uh, I had the volume reducer on. Now, this guy uh, decides to take this uh, this little shack. I take my shots. I miss every single one. And also hit his pan right there. You see the spark? I hit his pan. That would have killed him, but uh, most definitely had to be so accurate that it hit his pen. Now, this is the guy that I showed at the beginning of the video. And um, he'll heal up. But the circle is coming in soon, TM. And I'm getting position. I need to get in the circle. And there's literally nothing right here at all. There's absolutely nothing. There's a rock. But I'm trying to get to that rock. Now, this is where he, he tries to take his shots at me. Right around where I'm uh, right here at this rock and this is a bad choice on his part when the circle is coming in You do not need to take shots, especially when you're on the edge of the circle uh, And the reason how I got him is I didn't know I knew where the passenger seat was like Remember earlier how I said if you smoke something out or if you uh If you try to get in your vehicle, but I know where or someone knows where the passenger or the uh or the driver's seat is. I meant driver's seat. Um, but then you could just point out the driver's seat and then wait a little bit and then hit them. And that's exactly what I did. They didn't smoke it out. I just knew where to shoot. And then I shot him. I hit him. And then the play zone kills him. <laughs> and so, and then I looked at the kill feed. The play zone killed him. I'm like, well, that's that figures. Um, yeah, so there is a guy in the field. Uh, we'll eventually see him. But I'm, I'm more worried about the guy up, up top. Because um, I still don't know if anyone's up top. And if anyone was smart enough, they get up there. Now, this guy sees me, takes shots at me. He has an SLR, I believe. But I take shots at him. I need to hit him. Like, when he was in that blue, I needed to have hit him. But right now, my shots are awful. My shots are god awful. Now, there is someone above. I don't know that, but I'm always assuming there is someone above. Now, this guy down here is in a bad position. He's got me up there shooting at him, and he's got the guys in the, the buildings waiting uh, to fire at someone. But right now, I'm really just making myself... Mo I'm just trying to get someone to shoot down on me, I, I swear. And the more I shoot, the more that so people are going to know I'm there. And that's... That's bad, but it's not like I can really move anywhere else where I wouldn't get killed. I could probably move back to the trees, but at the same time, the circle is 58 seconds away, and I don't need to be outside of the circle, right? So, no, it's either stay at this rock, try to get a pick off this guy, or move and probably die from moving. Now, the guys in the, uh, the buildings waited too long, and I believe they all died. Now it's just uh, three three guys left plus me. Now see that's that's exactly why I don't really go. In, uh, I don't do buildings um, in, when in a circle or when the circle's moving unless I absolutely have to. Now the uh, the reason why all those people died is because they waited too long. I hit him then. But yeah, they they waited way too long and died to the circle, or they died uh, because they were very low from the circle. This guy, I'm, all right, this guy up here sees me. I take a shot, but luckily the guy down there that I'm shooting at kills him. So, hey, good one for me, right? <laughs> now, that worked out pretty well. Uh, I, I probably would eventually had him, um, but he had the better position because I think he, he was in circle. If he wasn't in circle, he was most definitely close. Now, I see this guy. I know where he's at. I know where the other guy to the left is. There's only two people left. He decides to prone out. Don't ever do that, guys. When when you're at a distance, that distance right there, there's no foliage. And th this has been a PUBG thing for the longest time. And, uh, it, it's yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. So when you prone out and someone's at a distance, they're not going to see the foliage. They're just going to see you prone out like a dumbass. Now, right now, I'm smoking. I only have one smoke. Okay. Um, it does, now, one smoke can actually work out. And in this case, it does work out because it's it's wide enough to the point where I can see both people and uh, try to make shots. 
and try to at least damage them. That way they don't peek for a while. Now this guy, they're fighting at the moment. They're most definitely fighting where this is where I should really just keep moving in. And instead of trying to get the pick. Now, um, I'm just looking back and forth at the at these two dudes. And, yep. I shot him. So, right now I'm just trying to weaken them. That way they don't peek at me. And I waited too long. Alright, the only thing to do right now is to shoot. Listen, you have no cover. Boom, I hit him. And when you have no cover, but you have something that can fight back, called a gun, the only thing you can... Uh, the only thing you can do is shoot. Now, luckily for me, they were really bad with their shots. So, yeah, that, that worked out in my favor. But at the same time, if you don't shoot back, you would never know if you actually would have won that fight. Right? I shot it. Dude, that was a great shot. I shot him pretty well right there. Now, I think he's going to die to play zone. Bro, every single person that I shot died to play zone. I swear, because uh, this last guy, he's coming in right on the edge of the play zone. He healed up, though. Now, I, I shoot. I probably should have pulled out my M249, but I did, and I shoot. Play zone comes in and kills him, too. <laughs> so, the guy at the tower. Bro, the guy at the tower here. I shot him. He died to play zone. This guy died to play zone, and the guy over here at the building the little shack that I wanted at the beginning uh, died to play zone after shooting them. So yeah, that game was full, was full on, uh, dicking on me because, uh, for some reason the play zone just hated me that game. I had no kills. Need I remind you, I have no kills this game. I have over like almost 400 damage, I think, but no, absolutely no kills. Now, I mean, let's double back to the guys in the, uh, the buildings here. All right, so now you see these guys in the building. They're literally just not moving at all. Uh, they're, they're, they're just waiting. Absolutely waiting. Uh, listening for audio cues. These two guys are in the same building. Uh, they really look like bots, to be honest. This guy's moving at least a little bit. Okay, no, they're not bots. <laughs> I was about to say, dude. So you have these guys shooting. This is actually a really good ridge with, uh, against the uh, the buildings here. But it looks like he's going to die. To oh, a grenade. I was about to say play zone, bro. Holy moly. Now, the, the issue here is this guy had the smart thing to do. He had the smart choice of uh, getting out before the circle came in. But he's also susceptible to the guy up there. And this guy doesn't move at all. I don't understand why he doesn't move. Oh, he's got a jammer backpack. That's why. And he knows he's there. All right, this guy took forever, too. He gets killed by this guy because, well, he knew he was there by audio. And the guy up there killed him. So, yeah, that's that's most definitely it for that. This guy should have moved a long time ago. He should have at least been on the bottom floor. And for some reason, he's just... Okay, yeah, he he was the Titanic. He, he just... Yeah. <laughs> Now, I don't understand why, dude, this guy has got the best spot ever, like, but this is the way, all right, so here's the thing, it's like, when I make these videos, I don't tell you guys to play like this, I tell you to play like me, where I'm up there, I'm shooting, I'm getting position, I'm already in position, uh, well, almost, I'm close, I'm really close to the circle, right, now, all this guy's gonna do, he's gonna come out, and he's probably going to die from the guy up there, or he's going to eventually die from something because he's so far away from the uh, the actual play zone that the, the zone just comes in and will just consume his, his asshole. Now, listen, when you want position, when you want to, when you want to survive, this is not the wave. Don't, don't be like right on the edge of the circle, Wasting your meds because you want to go on the, the blue and, and, and not have a jammer pack, right? If he had a jammer pack, it would make sense. But at the same time, it wouldn't make sense because he does not have position. And he could have spent all this time running up. while That guy's shooting, right? He can move. He's, he's barely moving. All right, well, at least he's moving with shots. Well, with those shots, I would have moved. 
He needs to get at least right here where he was he was at eventually. He should have been here a long time ago. Now, he would have uh, probably been seen by that dude, but that guy got killed by uh, this dude down, down here. Now, he, he spent way too much time. And you know what? He didn't win, and he eventually died to play zone. Well, because I shot him. But he still died to play zone, right? Now, this is where he prones out. See, where, where you can see the foliage here? You can see all the foliage here, right? But you can't you can't see it now, can you? You absolutely cannot see it right now. So that's that's how PUBG works. I saw him proned out. I missed the shot, which I should have hit, hit a headshot. But uh, yeah, you can't see for there's no point proning out when someone's like uh, X meters away. But guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we went over what not to do, what I think you guys should do, and what you shouldn't do. And what I did in terms of position to win this game and the play zone dicking on me the entire time. But I got the win. That's what matters. So as I said before, you want to move. You want to get in position pretty quick. But you also want to look around your surroundings. Make sure you're not going to get uh, flanked or blindsided by someone who's already in position. But at the same time, if you could take a shot, take it. Don't be afraid to fight. If you're afraid to fight, you're not going to win any fights. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.